17 de março. Alexander McQueen estaria completando 41 anos. Sua morte inesperada em fevereiro deixou uma lacuna enorme no mundo da moda. Afinal, poucos foram tão criativos como ele. It goes beyond the fact that he was always one of the true high points of Paris. Uh, it was somebody out there who it was like he had to create. So the loss in, in a field where there really is not that much creativity, there should be more in fashion, and there isn't that much braveness. So to lose that combination of braveness and creativity is a big, it's an abyss, it's like a grand canyon. Filho de um motorista de táxi, McQueen começou aprendendo a mais tradicional técnica de alfaiataria e educou sua inventividade fashion na escola de vanguarda St. Martins. Sua carreira inclui um período de cinco anos à frente da marca Givenchy. I remember one time we were sitting with each other next to at a, at a, at a big party, and it was just when he got the job at Givenchy, and I said. You know, you have to be careful of those big people in Paris. They will take so much from you. And he said, and then you'll feel exhausted. And he said, no, no, Stephen, I've got like so much energy. I've got so much energy. I'll be fine. And then six months later, and I saw, he said, you're so right. Why didn't I listen to you? He was great. He had a sense of humor, and he was a fantastic and talented designer. habilidosas e uma mente brilhante, McQueen criava desfiles espetaculares com roupas impecáveis. Filmes como A Noite dos Desesperados e toda a obra de Alfred Hitchcock fizeram parte de seu imaginário. I remember my first McQueen show and we danced, we learned with a choreographer, um, just like he taught us how to just like express ourselves. It was to this movie, um, I think it was called like They Shoot Horses in America, Don't They? Um, it was basically this film about these people who entered this dance contest about the last couple remaining in the dance contest win. So it's kind of really special, I mean I'll never forget it. I love the chess collection, remember that? The irony of the fashion thing and the chessboard. But I remember when he did one with the wolves in the, in the, um, in the prison here in, in Paris and I was, I was participating in the show, I just thought it was, it was a very special moment. Queen associou seu espírito contestador a grandes nomes da música, como as cantoras Bjork e Lady Gaga, como mostra o figurino de Bad Romance. Anjos, caveiras e cenas religiosas. Estas são imagens que predominam na última coleção criada pelo próprio McQueen, apresentada nesta temporada num clima intimista, para poucos. Você fez a última campanha do McQueen. Uma foto linda, você toda cheia de cobras. Ah, foi uma experiência única, né? E eu sempre trabalhei com ele durante quase 10 anos, fazendo o filho dele e já admirava ele. Ele estava na sessão de foto? Ele estava. Ele estava até... Ele não, não queria ficar muito perto das cobras. E estou de coração quebrado, realmente, né? Com o que aconteceu e... Sou grata que conheci ele e tive a oportunidade de trabalhar com ele, né? I kind of started to hear about him when I was kind of 15, 16, so I suppose he was very influential in and obviously I love what he did and it's um obviously very influential in me um choosing kind of the path that I wanted to go at. Certainly it was kind of a factor with choosing to go to St. Martin's and it's just such a tragedy that um he's not with us anymore, so yeah, very sad, very sad indeed. What is absolutely true that since his death, we are aware around the world how many fans and how many people absolutely respected him. Because I think all of us who are in the fashion business and the media feel slightly responsible for his death because we're all part of the same big story. And that's why it's touched so many people because we know, we understand the 
pressures in the crazy world we live in. And the world is a smaller place because he's no longer here.